everyone! Today I am going to be taking the Overmorny Sorting Quiz so that I can find out which American school of witchcraft and wizardry house I am in. I'm going to be moving down to my desktop computer so you get to see a new area today. I'm super excited to take the Pottermore quiz and I haven't watched anyone else's sorting videos just so that I can be surprised with the questions and everything. Without further ado, let's go down to the computer and get started on this quiz. So here I am with Pottermore up on my computer and it says join your Ilvermorny house. So I am going to be sorted and discover my house. So I'm clicking on the Ilvermorny sorting ceremony and it says, where will the enchanted carvings place you? The first question is, do you prefer to remember or experience? I'm going to have to go with experience. The next question is, I would most like to discover a powerful magical creature loyal only to me, an all-magical city hidden from the non-magic world, a spell more powerful than any other, or a magical plant that will cure any illness. Hmm. I think I would most like an all-magical city that the non-magic world cannot find. The next question is, which would you choose if you only could choose one? And these are the options. The power to change one day in your future. The power to change one day in your past. The power to make one person impervious to harm. The power to bring one person back from the dead. The power to cure one illness worldwide. The power to eradicate one quality from all humans. Or the power to know the answer to any single question. I'm going to have to go with this one because if I could just know the answers to every question ever, that would make me so happy. So like, oh, it's like any single question. But still, I think knowledge is the most powerful. The next question says, think of the question you would most like answered by a person or an all-knowing being or device. Which of the following most closely resembles the answer you'd like to hear? The options are, without a shadow of doubt, never, very soon, it is impossible, yes, I will show you everything. Only if you agree, if you come with me, no I didn't, you are, yes you may, only once, if you want to, forever, or not for many years. <sighs> I think forever, it's a promise in a way, that word, so that's what I'm going to choose. The next question is, I often think, <laughs> why did I do that? Why can't I do that? I wish I had done that. Or I wonder whether I should do that. Uh, I'm deciding between why can't I do that and I wonder whether I should do that. I'm going to say, why can't I do that? The next question is, what would you exchange for your heart's desire? Anything? That which I can afford to lose? Blood, sweat, and tears? Or what is it worth? What it is worth? Um, for my heart's desire? Anything. The next question is, what would you least like to lose? Reputation, health, luck, dreams, love, or hope? Hope, for sure. I would hate to lose hope. I always need to have hope in my life that things will always be better than they are now. The next question is, which is the better motto? It is nobler to be deceived than to be mistrustful. Friends 
should not demand blind faith. Hmm. I think friends should not demand blind faith is what I'm going to choose. It says, named by Webster Boot after his favorite magical beast, the Wampus, a magical panther-like creature that was fast, strong, and almost impossible to kill. Wampus House is sometimes considered to represent the body of a witch or wizard. It is also said that Wampus favors warriors. It seems that this house is most parallel to Gryffindor, which actually is kind of surprising because I am actually a Hufflepuff in Hogwarts houses. So we'll see how this works for me. I need to read more about it, but now I've been sorted. I can't believe how much new Harry Potter stuff has happened this year and it's so exciting. So I can't wait to read Harry Potter and the Cursed Child script and also to watch Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them this fall. I am really excited. It's crazy that all this stuff is happening this year, but I can't wait to see what's in store. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos on this channel about books and beauty. Love to see you again. Bye!